There is a splatter killer for wideband FM in Linrad. Uh, I introduced this in year 2010, and as far as I know, nobody has shown any interest in this. So I haven't pursued the work. Uh, of course, uh, it is a little bit complicated at, as it has been implemented. Uh, it could be done in a as a function within a single instance of Linrod, but without any interest from anybody, uh, I don't haven't seen that uh, a worthwhile thing to do. Now, uh, this is November uh, 2017, about seven and a half year later. Uh, I got this mail from Rob PE1. ITR, and he shows an interest in this, and he has sent to me uh, two recordings from the FM bands, where he has problems that uh, uh, would benefit from this Linrad function. So in this video I will show first how to use this built-in function, and secondly how to compile from source uh, to make this uh, operation possible. This is the advav.txt file uh, that is in the Linrad directory. I have renamed the files because they had very long complicated names that I don't want to type. Uh, and this is the setup normally used to make Linrad uh, use recorded.vav files. So I start Linrad here and, and press 2 to play the recording and it is set up already. Uh, and I click on a station, let's say this one. And you can see that the signal has a width like that but I have this kind of width for the filter and that doesn't matter because this signal is so much stronger than the interferers here and here and here and I have to stop it because playing something for a too long time uh, would make uh, YouTube uh, say this is copyrighted material and I, my voice would be silenced. I hope it will not happen this time. Anyway, uh, this is now the normal decoding. And what we have here is a weak station here, uh, 100 kilohertz below. And I will try to receive that. To do that I need a much narrower filter and I have to click on that weak signal. And we can hear something but not very much. Because the strong station here competes quite well with the weak station. I can make the bandwidth narrower and maybe put the filter a little bit lower but this is not good at all maybe if this was somebody speaking uh, a clever person could understand a little bit of it uh, but uh, this is a bad situation. I open the bandwidth again and now I click on the mode here M from mono to stereo to X. X means do subtraction and don't play the audio send what we have over the network. So I click on Linrod 2 which is another instance of Linrod. It happens to be an old version, but that doesn't matter. Uh, 
and I press on E for FM and here is what I have it looks quite different from the screen that we have here uh, this is the bass band, the strong signal and the weak signal but here is the same bass band I mean this frequency range from here to here uh, I can click on this so you can see we have this bass band the strong signal is here it is very much suppressed and I click on this station and something is wrong I have to check this well it was a network problem I had set the uh, send address to uh, the default in Linrad uh, and that is blocked by the network so I changed it to 127.0.0.1 which means internal in this computer and then there is no problem now no I'm listening now to this station that is 100 kilohertz below the very strong station that I have here uh, the strong station this one is essentially is essentially uh, removed it's in this range and we can see some of it but there is no problem to receive this much weaker signal and I can change And with this setting, I guess it would be possible to recover the RDS information and other stuff. Now, uh, there is another much weaker station up here that would be absolutely impossible to hear uh, with this setting. I mean, with a normal FM detector, it's not really visible on the edge here. But I can click on it here and uh, we have the interference from the strong station in this region and you can maybe recognize the song but I can reduce the bandwidth and there is QSB on this station, so I wait a little to see if it comes up again. So I have the strong station, it reaches this far. And here there is a voice behind the noise. I can hear it's German. But if I look here, it, it is visible now, but it's fairly weak. And, uh, well... And I can go back to this other station. This is the bandwidth I need for good sound quality. And it doesn't work quite well here because the suppression of the strong signal isn't very good at the high frequency edge. Uh, this is something that could be corrected. 
I haven't worked with it because there hasn't been any interest in this processing. To enable the splatter suppression, you have to install Linrad from source. Uh, you can look here, install Linrad from source using the latest version from the repo. And this is uh, where you find it. Uh, you can also get the Linrad executable. Uh, look here, install Linrad under Windows. And uh, where do we have it? You have to download this package and uh, you get the source code from here leave.04.13.zip and unpack it into a directory. Uh, now it's not enough just to compile Linrad because you have to modify options.h. Use your favorite editor and edit options.h. Uh, this is the default in Linrad saying net basic raw mode is baseband IQ. Well, that's not what you want for the FM uh, splatter suppression. You want WFM subtract from first low pass. Copy and then remove that and enter this. And that's all we need. So, uh, Five, save, and then, uh, and I have a bat file for this to go to the proper subdirectory, and then I go to the appropriate subdirectory and run make. I don't have to do that, I did it already before, so I just, sorry, I run make, I did run uh, configure before, make, and then it will compile all those files that are affected by a change in uh, this options.h file. After having done this, I have a new version of lindrat.exe uh, that behaves as you have seen previously in this video.